Cisco FirePower deployment modes are the methods to insert a FirePower into the network as a firewall IPS device or as an IPS only device. In firewall IPS mode, you have the option to choose rotate or transparent mode. And as an IPS only device, you can choose between inline and passive modes. We discussed routing and transparent mode in the previous sections. In this section, we will discuss IPS only inline and passive mode. What we have implemented so far is firepower, firewall, routing mode and transparent mode in which not only firewall services are available, but you can also implement IPS services as we saw in the previous section. Just to review, in routed mode, the firewall does routing, so we need to give IP addresses to firewall interfaces and do a static or dynamic routing like any other router. In transparent mode, firepower behaves like a switch. It is easier to add a switch or transparent firewall in an existing network because it does not change any IP addressing or routing infrastructure. But sometimes you use a separate firewall and you want to use firepower as an IPS only device. In this condition, we have three main options to use inline mode, inline tap mode, or passive mode. In inline mode, firepower is physically inserted into the pass, so all traffic is forwarded through the firepower IPS device. For example, we can insert the firepower physically between data center and enterprise core or between enterprise core and one edge network. In inline mode, there can be added only two interfaces in each inline pair. What is received in each interface will be forwarded to other interface after inspection without max switching or IP routing. It behaves like a wire but with an inspection module in between. Inline mode can be used when we are using a firepower as an IPS only device in which most firewall services are not working. Inline mode differs from transparent mode in which multiple interfaces can be added in each bridge group and each bridge group behaves like an isolated switch. Transparent mode is used as a mode when we use firepower as a firewall service which can also be used as an IPS device at the same time. Firepower in inline tap mode will be deployed exactly as inline mode. The difference is that in inline tap mode, traffic itself will not be inspected, but just a copy of traffic is inspected. Therefore, in inline tap mode, it is not possible to drop intrusions and they will be just alerted. In passive mode, firepower will not be inserted physically in the pass. Actually, sometimes it is not possible to insert an IPS device physically in the pass to inspect all traffic. For example, in the LAN, it is not possible to insert an IPS so it can inspect all LAN traffic. In passive mode, the copy of traffic will be sent to the IPS with the help of SPAN, RSPAN or ERSPAN technology. Therefore, in passive mode, like inline tap mode, only copy of traffic are inspected. So it's not possible to drop a traffic if it is intrusion and only an alert is given. Also, there are some methods to block intruders in inline tap mode or passive mode. They are not real time. For example, they can block intruders source IP address by inserting an access rule in a firewall. Passive mode is also used when we want just to monitor what is coming in our network with inserting an IPS in passive mode and in the age of the network. 
So far, we have used the fire power as firewall in which Giga Ethernet 00 was connected to the outside interface and Giga Ethernet 01 was connected to the inside network. From now on, we will use fire power as an IPS only device with Giga Ethernet 02 connected to the outside interface and Giga Ethernet 0 three connected to the inside interface now we can start our configuration first we configure and enable giga ethernet 02 and giga ethernet 03 interfaces as outside one and an inside one interface this is giga ethernet 02 this is outside one and then enable in interface configuration there is an option to change the interface mode to passive mode in which is ready to receive the copy of traffic and inspect the receiving traffic the copy of traffic can be sent to this interface with any methods like span r span or er span switch feature and then okay we also the same configuration for Giga Ethernet 03 enable and inside one and we don't change the mode of the interface and then save then we configure an inline pair and add two interfaces into the inline pair add inline set and then outside inside into inline pay with the name of inline one in advanced tab we have some options to configure tap mode with enabling this option the copy of traffic will be inspected this is actually inline tap mode i will implement it in the next section in the same video propagate link state automatically brings down the second interface in inline interface pay when one of the interface goes down a strict tcp enforcement is a security feature and blocks connection where three-way handshake are not complete and a snort fail open when it is selected traffic will be passed without inspection when s node process is busy or done i will not change any of these options so okay yes and then save the ips policy then must be configured and be applied to access control rules we will use the ips policy that we have configured in previous section ips policy one if you remember in this policy if you remember we have configured to block icmp echo reply traffic which is implemented in previous section echo reply as you can see we have configured to block icmp echo reply traffic we will use the same policy and configuration for this scenario which our firepower behaves like an ips only inline device in the previous section we have also activated ips policy in a rule in which permit all traffic let's check it again in the permit all rule we have enabled ips policy it is obvious that it does not mean to inspect the traffic in a rule in which drop the traffic so this is the reason that i've choose a rule with allow permission
and then deploy our our new policy To test that our IPS policy works, it is enough to just ping an external IP from a computer behind Firepower. We expect that ping reply will not be received. For example, ping 88 ping 888 As we expected, we don't receive the ping reply we have to check intrusion events to make sure that the ping reply is dropped with our IPS policy. So in analysis, intrusion and then events, we can see there is a protocol ICMP echo reply event. If I open table view of event, the destination is 888 and the source IP address is 192.168.1.117 and the traffic is dropped. ICMP echo reply with message protocol ICMP echo reply and it is matched with, with IPS policy 1 as you C. Next, to implement IPS inline tap mode, the implementation is exactly the same. The only difference is that we have to enable tap mode in inline pair. If we edit inline pair in the advanced tab, we have option tap mode. We enable Tap mode and then yes and save. In inline tap mode, as we know, no traffic can be dropped. In other words, all traffic with block actions will be just alerted. Just deploy it. We have to wait until it is deployed. To make sure we will ping the same address as inline mode. And now we expect that our ping traffic will be replied. As you can see. But there must be also an intrusion event where the traffic should be dropped. But cannot be dropped because the copy of traffic is inspected and the original traffic is already forwarded. Let's check intrusion events. The count has changed from one to two. Let's check the table view of the event. A new line is added, as you can see, would have dropped, but interface in passive or tap mode. Because of that, it cannot be dropped and with the same source and destination and protocol and it is matched also with IPS policy 1. So we have implemented both inline and inline tap mode. The passive mode is the same. I've shown how to enable passive mode and with the help of SPAN or RSPAN feature, we can send a copy of traffic to the IPS and the behavior is the same as inline tap mode.